Well, one people bless upon yourself. We're back with another update, and we're going to talk about alkaline and vibes cartel this morning. All right, people. And remember, our bad TV don't tell when they say, Well, you know, that's where the fight came from with alkaline and vibes cartel. When um, vibes cartel saw alkaline, all right, was being voiced on certain rhythms with him, and it's, it comes to like alkaline was taking most of the rhythms, all right. When we talk about taking most of the rhythm, meaning. You know, people start paying attention to Alkaline and, you know, start wondering, even to Vibes Cartel. I told you guys, was wondering, who is this youth? Because I remember said Alkaline. Remember they tried to put this old stigma on Alkaline that Alkaline was a Gaza artist. You understand? And they, they can't say he was a Gaza artist before him say Gully because Alkaline really don't say Gully side. him say Vendetta. He just link up with Movado because Movado saw the fight where Alkaline was, you know, was about to get. Um, at the time being a young artist and I think that's why even Movado reached out and you know what I mean that's why the whole link was made and you know it was it was just destined for MVP you know forward and dominated players because you remember say it was the, it was just the Gaza nation even was the Gaza gully clash you know Movado is not the artist always being the spotlight and always you know in the controversy so Movado fan base is more laid back until you know Movado is going at it with, with, with whoever artist. But Alkaline did a voice with certain producers and like I said, Alkaline was hitting on the rhythms. Even I think even to Not Nice. I think and think about these people. Remember when Not Nice and Al uh Vibes Cartel fall out, right? And Not Nice I think at the time was still voicing for voicing Alkaline, you know. Can I remember say Alkaline it was a just was just a little artist I try to look a busting at the business. You understand and was just trying to get his music out there so whoever you know i work with him you know him will work with him but at the time when not nice and vibes cartel got into it and remember when vibes cartel send send him soldiers them for um take away not nice laptop and all them thing then all them thing there at the time not nice was still working with alkaline you know so i don't know if that's one of the case why vibes cartel even selling he if you feel me and 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 running point car i remember saying so couldn't tell DJ Frost not to voice Alkaline because Alkaline, um, DJ Frost was Movado producer at the time and the whole Gully guys a clash. DJ Frost did done, done didn't rate Vibes Cartel, so him really couldn't tell DJ Frost who for voice and who not for voice. All right, because DJ Frost done say him not voice Vibes Cartel for none of him rhythms. All right, and look who produced the album for Alkaline. All right, New Level Unlock. That was DJ Frost because the whole of them. At the time, well, not all of them, because um, DJ Frost, Jordan, Chimney, Lee Miller, and um, DJ Sunshine was working with Alkaline at the time. But notice all of them start working with a young artist now. So, boy, I mean, know. But Alkaline being the artist he is, that's why Alkaline bust his, his own producers. Because I, I told you guys, Alkaline doesn't see the fight that he was going to get, you right? And Alkaline doesn't see them try them to try lock him out of the business, you know, because without producers voicing you, basically you're locked out of the business unless you can find producers to voice your music and still keep it out there or did what alkaline did bust him own producers them so them can't really stop the youth right now or lock him out of the business all right but not to stray from the from the point vice cartel don't see this youth was 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 going to be a star you understand this youth was going to be a star so vice cartel start linking producers i guess to 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 not voice alkaline the, the producers them that he you know he good with that voice Vibes Cartel, I guess, most of the time. And have a high respect for Vibes Cartel in the music business. So when Vibes Cartel sung certain words to certain producers, you know, they they probably stop voice Alkaline. Alright? Because we see a lot of them stop voicing the youth and Alkaline are voice with them. So it's only right to think, you know, Vibes Cartel probably just sung the word and um, a lot of them, you know, stop voice the youth. DJ Frost still did a voice in. We see... Sunshine still did a voice alkaline. Lee Miller until Lee Miller did the single with who was that? Um Raging King and then from there, you know, Minanua. It was it was a little, you know, falling out. And then we see DJ Frost and the youth fall out now and it comes to like Sunshine and Um Jordan Chimney, them now voice the youth, but you know, Alkaline have his in house producers right now because like I said, Alkaline already saw the fight was coming and, you know, prepared for it. See? Prepared for the fight. So, 
when Vibes Cartel did a try lock out the youth now after him seek uh, Vibes Cartel I said, well, who this youth? Who's this youth? And members say Alkaline now said, um, Gaza, you know. Even if he did respect Vibes Cartel at the time as an artist and people say he was repping the Gaza sign and you know, whatever, even though it could be the winning sign to me or the money sign. But they say it's the Gaza sign, world boss, world, you know, whatever. <coughs> and our client being a young artist that probably never really bust in the business or while trying to get his boss in the business, he never really highlight Gaza Nation. You know what I mean? Like I said, even if he had respect for his cartel, he never bust as a Gaza artist endorsed by the, by the Gaza Nation or anything to that sort. All right, so Vibes Carter was wondering, who's this youth? Who is this youth, Alkaline, Earl, and Bartley, that's been voiced on certain rhythms? And do you just come, they, they, like, do you just take every rhythm? Vibes Cartel and, and him, the pun. All right? And not knowing Vibes Cartel himself, not knowing that this youth, Alkaline, <laughs> was destined for come run down south. And Vice Cartel saw that as a threat. All right, Vice Cartel didn't see that as a threat and say, eh? <laughs> All right, me, I'm going to lock him out, you know. I lock me, I go lock him out to dance hall. Make the producers, them stop voicing him and not work with him. And you know what I mean? We see Gage came out the other day and was saying the same thing. And then, like I told people, man, it's not now. It's not now these things been going on in dance hall. All right? And then the big artists, them are forward and I'll talk about unity. And, and then they might try to lock out the young artists, them. Because what? They want dance hall for be all for themselves, all about them. No, man. That's why I can come and kick down that door there. You understand? Bring through the young artists, then bring through the young producers, them and them can't hold you there right now, them can't stop him. That's why I can say, yo, we are create waves like the ocean. Which I think that was a vibes cartel, so blame know this, but we're gonna leave that for our next video. Alright? I think it was a I don't say vice cartel this, but I would say shades in there. You know what I mean? And you'd say all over the world. Them a wave with banner. Fans are come out and the support me. I know. Bad mind the wonder was so special. And for me say bad mind you don't know who. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna leave it right there. Yeah, understand now can I say you're not safe under the cabana. We are create big waves and flood the whole place. And I told you guys that comes to like 2020 our client, I go flood the place with music, you know. Yeah man. So no need for watch out for that. But yeah, Vice Cartel don't see the pre. And our client see the plot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I claim saying you wanna try kick me out and get me out of the dance hall. That not gonna happen. You see me I say. And when Vice Cartel saw that wasn't working for him, well the producers them cause certain producers were still voicing Alkaline. Some of them, you know, them not voice the youth no more. If they want to work with Vice Cartel still. You know? And like I said, DJ Frost, him couldn't tell DJ Frost anything and DJ Frost worked with the youth. Um and DJ Frost created one of the most um, you know significant project i think right now in our client career as a young artist so you know, i always have to give dj fresh respect for that but like i said the fight that came came with it our client definitely used that you understand to uh motivate himself and build his you know built up the vendetta clan um young artists you know young producers and all these things so even like i said even if them lock the door upon the youth right now <laughs> our client already said we have the key to the city and we lock the city why you think he was making those bold statements? Because Alkaline don't see the pre, you know. You understand? Alkaline don't see the plot and say, all right, this we have to do, you know. Young guns. You understand? Load up. Full buckle mode because you don't know. We have to go to war. Remember Alkaline said it in the single hour? Was that mama pre? Or son of a queen. No, no, no. It was son of a queen. You know what I mean? The man said mama would love for, the, for, him, for her, um, her and her sons to go out on par or whatever but you know the young lad i forgot and war <laughs> you feel me it was that 2018 and i told you guys at that time i like, don't see the plot you know what i mean and the youth was working on it and say all right all right our ball team we see the plot you know and this we are going to do you know yeah man we have to make sure we secure the event the v clan because you don't know the mvp movement is strong and that's one you know it's a brotherhood that you know they might try shake and, and, and I try to break the link, but that's not going to happen either. You understand? Like Going there, hang on. You know the red seat. Man. You know, the youth, um, struggles and the fight, and that's why I think Movado endorsed him. Um, so, you know, that's just it. That's just it, people. Can I remember when, like I said, when Vibes Cartel see it now work? Remember Vibes Cartel to go so boom, and let go a shot. Vibes Cartel was the first one to diss Alkaline, you know. Vibes Cartel goes so boom, and let go a shot, and, and, and go so. Um, cause 
like I said, I think Arkland was on that rhythm too. I can't remember the name of the rhythm, but correct me in the comment section. Vibes character goes so boom. Box them down quicker than a box lunch and punch up them face quicker than a fruit punch. Be a juvenile, you know, see a run. You know what I mean? That's why even in the single, Cree, when our client said juvenile can't trick me, people was even wondering if it was a way back then. He's acknowledging the fact that Vibes Cartel the first diss him. All right? And he was addressing that, but, you know, people, you know, people, Massacre being the artist that just talked about juvenile, that was more current and relevant. So, you know, people work with that. But remember, I climbed forward and said, Yo, how oh, some bumbo was so comfortable. And I've been told you guys about that. All right? And from there, it kicked off. Because Vibes Cartel done see, you see this youth? He might well come run the place. And, you know, they say, if he can't beat something, join it. So that's what Vice Cartel did. Vice Cartel done see this youth, I will come run the place. And the youth have no affiliation with him the youth don't say well he read vibes cartel when he did the interview and you know what i mean and notice that vibes cartel start being more bold now and forward and disrespect the youth and our client defend the thing vibes cartel fire a few more shots our client fire fire back some more shots and make vibes cartel know say yo it's not good so you understand matter of fact if you push your head through that rail in there one more time shot i go take it all off <laughs> you know what i mean so I can like defend the thing Vice Cartel see that and Vice Cartel attach his name by going at Alkaline. And a lot of young artists they probably didn't like that because they must say, Oh Vice Cartel acknowledge Alkaline. Why am I um, acknowledge this young youth and, and re 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 and all these things and now all them have a little collaboration because that's the only acknowledgement they gonna get from Vibes Cartel. And when them see that now work, then would they re revert to this same Vibes Cartel again? <coughs> I don't know. But Alkaline definitely is going to stand out. Why? Because he did it, like he said, on his own. I understand. Not not saying the affiliation with him and MVP didn't work for him. But he did it on his own. Vibes Cartel, and, Vibes Cartel saw that. That's why Vibes Cartel running and thought he could have um, did, you know, control damage to Alkaline career. And it never worked. And it never worked. And Vibes Cartel see that now. That's why I'm a draw for all the affiliates and the young artists them for come go at Alkaline and the MVP artists them. And all of them fail. They all fail as of right now. Right? Check the pre people. They all fail. So when they talk about who running the dance hall and who's the next two artists to dominate the dance hall, I see Alkaline. I don't see the other artists yet. People will say Massacre. But let's wait and see. All right? Be vocal in the comment section, people. Let me know what you guys think about this early morning update. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next notification. All right, people? But that's yeah, that's my thoughts on Alkaline being voiced on the same rhythm, rhythms as Vibes Cartel. And this is where it all came from. Because Alkaline was having a more impact. The songs then was more resonating with the youth. Because Akline was just touching on certain thing, and he, he being the younger artist is just gonna know how to relate to the youths them more, and him just him created it, you know, it did a take off, and some people they don't see it, that's why they continue to work with him until, they don't know why them stop work with the youth. No, well, Akline secure himself by pro producing his own producer. So I'll know when if they might try for lock the door, if they might try lock the door upon the youth. I'm just gonna say that it won't work, and it you know. Because Alkaline secure, like I said, the V-Clan. And now we have everything in-house. So you really don't have to depend on nobody. See? Like I said, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until my next notification, people. While well, good, stay blessed. I'm out.